Hey YouTubers, Rick from Rick's RC and more. Uh, today's video isn't really an RC video, it's more of um, what uh, what you're going to be doing if you decide you want to be a millwright. So I started apprenticing about, uh, be close to, to three years ago. Uh, it took about a year before I could even get into the first level. They're just, uh, <clears throat> they're backed up and now with COVID they're, they're backed up even more, but um, I'm currently in second level of schooling. That's the uh, second out of three levels. I just kind of wanted to show you um, what what you're going to be, depending on what school you're you're going to, and how they do things. But some of the things that you're going to be doing, uh, learning to be a millwright. Uh, these are all uh, shop projects that uh, you do. So uh, first level, the first project on the lathe is this step shaft. Uh, don't mind the rust. It wasn't ever treated. It's just something I kind of held on to. But uh, you you got to turn this on the lathe. Actually, before you even do the step shaft, you have to make yourself a lathe tool. You have to do this on the grinder. This is tool steel, of course. It's a half inch by half inch. You have your 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 cutting end, and then this is this is for cutting threads which uh, comes on later. So the first thing they have you do is, is make a tool for the lathe to, to turn, down, uh, turn down the steel. And then next, you, they had, have you do the step shaft. You gotta, you gotta have precise lengths, um, precise uh, diameters on it. I did, I did screw mine up right here. I, I read the drawing wrong. I started lathing uh, this out. But uh, that type of stuff happens, and uh, then they'll have you they have you make a a collar with a keyway. Um, you you broach this, but you do have to actually run a bore. You drill this out on the lathe, and then you have to bore it out to the right uh, inner diameter, and then of course uh, chamfer your edges, <coughs> and then. Uh, next lathe project is to actually thread using your threading tool and also uh, doing a knurl and the same thing you got to turn these all down to the proper diameters and then uh, run a fine thread on this side and coarse thread of course on this side uh, larger and have your your knurl there in the center and the last uh, last project for first level we did in the lathe was that we actually made something you can use. This is a punch, center punch. They have you make this on the lathe, and uh, they they put it in the oven for you to try to to try to harden it. I've used it a couple of times; it's, it works all right. And they, of course, you got your knurl on there to grip it. I slapped a coat of paint on it because I didn't want it to to rust. And. Uh, the last uh, shop project, at least at the school I went to for uh, level one, was uh, they call us a drill plate. So you, you take this plate, you've got to cut it to the right size, you have to uh, drill certain size holes in precise locations, uh, some, some of the stuff's reamed out, some of it's uh, threaded, uh, counter bore, counter sinks, and uh, <clears throat> even have you do one and this edge here, and they actually have a they have a tool they made up that you put this in and and all the pins slide in. So they see how many how many holes you got in the correct uh, correct spot for these pins to to slide into them, and they check your threads, make sure everything threads in that type of stuff. And then they have you put a little polish on it. That's why this one hasn't quite rusted as fast as everything else. It is starting a little, but yeah, they have you put it on a surface grinder and uh, do a polish on it. So that's all that's all first level um, second level I'm not I'm not finished this I've just started this but I thought this was cool because it's uh, I could probably use this for some RC stuff but this is a mini arbor press so you do this on uh, on mills and you do lathe work you've got to you've got to cut the rack you've got to cut the gears you got to machine everything yourself uh, these these angles and and all that 
some drilling and topping and stuff. And once it's once you're finished, you get yourself a little uh, a little arbor press. I still have to make the uh, hub, which has got to be reamed out and, and pr as a press fit on this side of the gear, and, and then make my handle. I still got some some finishing to do here. This actually we have to uh, machine in a a slot here for for a big screwdriver. I haven't got that far. So yeah, I just thought I'd uh, do a quick little video if you know you, you decided that uh, or you you know you deciding that you want to go to school to be a millwright, whether you apprentice or just go to school. This is kind of the the type of machine work uh, that they have you have you do in school. Uh, this here, this is something I just made before I was even in school. I just I, I seen uh, seen these being used on uh, YouTube here and there. These little pipe benders you can just put your your rod in and you can bend it whatever angle you want I do have some videos on that there's nothing uh, nothing hard or particular about making this it's just it's a pretty simple simple setup so yeah if uh, if stuff like that really interests you you, you may want to uh, you may want to look into into going to school or apprenticing in the mill right Everybody, get out, enjoy your RCs.